So this is a Kia e Nero, another brand new electric vehicle to the Australian market. So again, a bit of a shame to see it uh, here in the salvage yard. It's had uh, a front passenger side impact similar to the Volvo. Uh, worth to a couple of interesting things with this one. It's worth noting that the impact is close to the charge port here. So we need to be aware that there may have been some high voltage cables maybe impacted during the, the collision. Um, also the airbags haven't gone off. So potentially uh, this vehicle uh, could, you know, is still live. Uh, we still have, we could potentially still have power running around those, those cables. Um, we have checked that uh, before we go poking around in it. But uh, again, from an emergency response perspective, we want to uh, identify that we're dealing with an electric vehicle. And with this one, uh, we've, there, there would be the blue EV badge, front and rear number plate, uh, and then there's some other badging around the car. And then we pull up the, the rescue app. So this is on ANCAP rescue app, and we've pulled up the, the Kia Nero um, emergency response guide. So this gives us everything we need to know in terms of how do we identify what we're dealing with, how do we mobilize it? It talks about the jacking points where we can stabilize things. And then how do we isolate the high voltage system? So disabling uh, direct hazards is, is how that's termed. Now, interestingly, this emergency response guide talks about disconnecting the 12 volt battery and then getting into the fuse box under the bonnet here, which I'll show you in a sec, to um, pull a few fuses out. But in this particular vehicle, what we've actually got under the bonnet is uh, also a cut loop. So uh, here's our 12 volt battery. Obviously that's the fuse box that they're talking about in the emergency response guide. But here at the front, we've got a cut loop uh, and we can tell it's for emergency response because it has a firefighter helmet on it. Um, but the beautiful thing with this particular cut loop is it also unclips. So it actually can can completely come out of there. So we could cut through this, that will isolate the high voltage systems, or we can simply unclip the whole thing. That way, if for some reason in, you know, the, the vehicle is absolutely fine and there was no emergency after all, we can actually just clip this back in and the vehicle's good to go again. So we love this system. It's used in the, in, uh, by Kia and in some Hyundai's in the Hyundai Kona, but uh, not really widely used uh, across all makes and models, unfortunately. So the other thing to note with this is that uh, when, as we're approaching, of course, we've got no engine noise. We've, we may have identified we're dealing with an electric vehicle, but we've got no engine noise, so we need to immobilize it. And we can also, if we ha as we're doing a bit of a 360 of the vehicle, being careful, obviously, not to, to get right in the direct path uh, at front or rear. We want to approach from the sides. Um, the orange high voltage cables indicate that you're dealing with an electric vehicle of voltage of 60 volts DC and over. I believe this vehicle also runs at about 400 volts DC. Super quickly, this is the fuse box that they're talking about in that rescue, oop, in that emergency response guide, if I can get that off. And uh, it's a little tricky. We've done this before, but it's a little tricky. We want to, we want to pull some of these fuses in here in accordance with that emergency response guide. So Kia e Nero uh, and then the Volvo XC40 Recharge, uh, just a couple of the EVs that we've found here in, in this particular salvage yard. So it's been an interesting day out having a look at uh, how they managed past that emergency response point.